Uh, excuse me, maybe you could help me. I'm Patty Deutsch. <laughs> Mm, uh, I don't think you need my help. Oh, thank you. It looks like you're done okay all by yourself. Oh, that's very sweet. Look, I'm looking for Cleopatra's dressing room. Oh, me too. Yeah? Uh, you want to know where? Yeah. Oh, sure. Well, walk this way. Okay. <laughs> everyday turtle. Mark Anthony, don't you want to ride down the Nile with me on my barge? Gee, no thanks. I get seasick in the bathtub. <laughs> Say, who ever heard of a seasick turtle? It's kind of embarrassing and I'd rather not discuss it. Besides, don't you ever get seasick? Who, me? Mm. I don't think so, because uh, I don't even know what it is. Good. You be her, Mark Anthony. <laughs> All right, class. In your places. Miss Twiddle. Miss Twiddle. Well, what do you think of Laura's idea? Uh, I think it's dumb. Careful, Oliver, or I, Laura, will demonstrate poodle anger. What's that? It begins with screaming and shouting and ends with sniffing and snapping. Do you want a demonstration? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought you were discussing beauty, not the beast. Well, I never. It was during the Egyptian period, which was centered around the year 100 B.C., that many advances were made. All right, class. I would like someone to describe in more detail that period of history. Who would like to begin? Oh, I'd be happy to. Penelope, my dear, you are most astute and, as usual, most eager. But shall we give some others a chance? Students? Who's going first? <laughs> Very well. I guess I'll just have to select someone. Let's begin with Toby. Football. Football? <laughs> Sorry, you caught me off guard. Did you say football? I suppose I should understand, but I don't. Now he's in for it. <laughs> I was just reading about an ancient sport involving ball kicking. People have been kicking the ball around for centuries. Some call it soccer. Others call the same game football. Well, I've got to hand it to you, old salt. You're on the ball. Boys. <laughs> All they think about is sports. Men, too. <laughs> oh, now, ancient history. Yes, someone else? Let's see. Hmm. I know. Oliver. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not nice. For your information, Ma, I know a few things. 
Rome and Egypt were the two challenging empires during this period of which we now speak. In Rome, there was the great Julius Caesar. Uh, he was some kind of big guy. Oh. And, and in Egypt, it was Cleopatra. You, you know, the, the famous one. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, the famous one? How many were there? Mm, maybe six or seven. Uh, people <laughs> don't always agree on that. Oliver, you are a fountain of information. Huh? Pray continue. Yes, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, okay. If you want me to. Yes. I just must hear some more about Cleopatra. <laughs> I, I know which one you like. <laughs> and what do you mean by that remark? Oh, I think you know. <laughs> Oliver, we all want to know. Uh, the last one is the famous one. Um, she was Cleopatra the sixth or seventh. No one's quite sure. But she sure was beautiful. Oh, she sounds just thrilling. Mara. Well, it's true. Julius Caesar was in love with her, took her to Rome, bought her clothes, jewels. Miss Twiddle. Yes, Julius? Oh, I mean, Oliver. Laura is interfering with my report. Please continue. <laughs> Gee, uh, I forgot where I was. <laughs> well, perhaps tomorrow. Class dismissed. Do you know Cleopatra was the most beautiful woman in the world? No. How a few That's a very old joke. Cleopatra is a very old princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't understand any of you. Surely if you've read your lessons, then you must have seen Cleopatra's picture in the book. Can't you just see the resemblance? <laughs> You are the book. <laughs> That's it. I've had it. I've been insulted for the last time. If anyone wants me, I'll be in the schoolyard. Gee, Penelope, did I say something wrong? No, 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 worse than usual. <laughs> well, sometimes I just can't help myself. <laughs> you see... Laura's only pretending to be Cleopatra. Oh, that's bad. No, pretending's not bad, as long as you don't take yourself too seriously. Sometimes when I'm sad, I think about the circuses and fun I've had. Thinking about lots of happy things takes away lots of tears, sadness, and pain. And sometimes when I'm mad, I pretend I'm queen and then I feel oh so grand with lots of dresses and pretty things and eight white horses for my carriage. It doesn't do me any good to grumble and frown. And so I take my troubles on a magic carpet, then I throw them away. Pretending's what poets do. Artists paint their pictures, don't you see, that way too. Composers write their music that way. Songs live in their minds before they are played. Pretending. What we need to do when we're lonely or blue. Be anyone or go anywhere. Let your imagination take you there. Don't feel as if it's wrong to let your imagination grow and be real strong. You can be anything that you want to be as long as you wish 
Can you dream, don't you see? Pretending the what we need to do When we're lonely or blue It's so much fun, don't you see? To be anything that you want to be Pretending the what we need to do You know, Penelope, you always make me feel so good. I'll show you even a cat can have a heart. See ya. Oh, I think I've done a terrible thing. I don't know why. I guess it's just woman's intuition. I've got to learn not to stick my neck out. Oh, I think we're in trouble. <laughs> You're in luck. I've just invented a time thruster rocket. <laughs> All you have to do is step inside, and you'll see the real Quill Petra. The popcorn machine is gone. Mom, I don't understand why I always get left in the lurch. <laughs> why is it that... Nobody loves me. Is it my long hair? Or my mustache? Why is it that I can't get others to understand that even those who are different need someone to love them? Oh. People don't know why I seem lonely. Oh. They don't understand my reasons for gloom. I don't see why I'm so different, but it sure seems people care how my hair or my color seem to be. I, I guess that I seem slightly different, so I'm sure people think, well, my looks are bad. Well, maybe I'm not handsome, but I, I'd never hurt no one. Why can't people take me for what I am? Oh, even folks who are different need love, too. We don't seem to have enough to go around I wish everyone would see beyond folk's skin the world would be a different place to be I know it would I'm positive say did you ever notice this famous people always are so pretty uh -huh. they all seem so happy because of their looks gee i wonder if if i was handsome how my life could be more full because i like myself now that's what's really strange oh even folks who are different need love too we don't seem to have enough to go around i wish everyone would see beyond folks skin the world would be a different place to be i know who is than a roller coaster. Toby, I'm frightened. Where are you? Uh, I'm here. The question is, where are we? You're here, but my question is, who are you? Laura, this is no time for games. I'm shaking too hard to play anything. Besides, that wasn't me. 
No, it was me. Uh, well, if me is not you, then who is me? You're confusing me. Me too. Now, what we need is some light. Somebody light a torch. Hey, you. Oh, my. I'm talking to someone, and I don't even know who I'm talking to. Well, I don't either, and this is my barge. Barge? Yes, I'm Cleopatra, and this is my barge. Oh, wait till Miss Twiddle hears about this. She'll never believe it. I'm not sure that I believe it. Yes. Uh, what, pray tell, is a Miss Twiddle? That's a long story. Oh, goody, I love long stories. It's the only way I can face these long trips up and down the Nile. Besides, I get seasick. Oh, well, you and I just may have something in common. Yeah? Toby, we're here on more serious business. To learn from one of the world's great beauties. Ignore him if you wish, Your Majesty. Tell me, why is it every time we see a painting of you, you're lounging, eating grapes? Dearie, it's the only way I can face these long, boring trips. Eating grapes? No, no, lying down. Hey, listen, now that you're here, what can I do for you? We want to know all about your wonderful life. Wonderful life? You call sitting on a marble slab all day a wonderful life? Oh. I mean, in the summertime, you burn your pride, and in the winter, you freeze your ears off. But I thought royalty liked luxury. You call this luxury? No plumbing, no telephone? Oh, but they haven't been invented yet. Yeah, things are tough. But, but the books say... Scribes, philosophers, what do they know? Gee, Miss Cleopatra, don't you ever have any fun? Once, when I mailed myself to Julius Caesar's special delivery. <laughs> How's that? Well, see, I rolled myself up in a carpet... And then I stuffed myself in a wicker basket, and I mailed myself to Julius's front door. <laughs> that sounds so romantic. Romantic. I was the original basket case. Why? Well, I forgot to put enough postage on the basket. What happened? Darn fool. He tried to send me to the Dead Sea Scroll office. Oh, gee, what we thought... Yeah, I know everybody thinks that life at the top is easy, but let me set the record straight. This is no bed of roses. But you are so beautiful. Well, and must have made in waiting. Yeah, they wait. For a day off, for a lunch break. I'm telling you, good help is very hard to find. Oh, that's terrible. Well, well, it's not all that bad. I mean, once a week, I do schlep to the hairdresser to have my tiara re <laughs> You do that for your image? Of course not. I'm the queen. Do it for Mark Anthony. He's your true love. He's my husband. But I figure I should look nice for him after he's had a hard day looking out over my fleet. <laughs> got 500 ships, you know. Oh, that's a big fleet. Yeah, well, you got to do things in a big way when you're the queen of Egypt. <laughs> kind of like a responsibility to one's public. Right on. I mean, no matter what kind of a job you have, whether it's big or small, you've got to take on the responsibility that goes with it. <laughs> So here I am on a cold slab with a marble smile. Uh, speaking of responsibility, yeah. uh, if you'll excuse us, ma'am, I think we'd better get back home. That is, if we can figure out how to work that thing. Gee, you know, I bet it would be kind of fun to go with you. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing this since I was 17. <laughs> ah, well. We understand. Yeah? Good yeah. Goodbye, Miss Cleopatra. Oh, just call me Cleo, honey. <laughs> Cleo. Honey. <laughs> nice meeting you, Cleo. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Welcome home, travelers. Don't know what's so funny. You're the one who missed the trip. <laughs> uh, you look a little dizzy. He may look dizzy, but as far as I'm concerned, he's brave. Gee, I guess I did myself in. Serves you right. Gee, somebody's serving food? Food? Yeah, someone owes me some popcorn. <laughs> we don't have to plan our nose inside some stuffy text from Crown that fits we Cause each and every page of facts are much more fun than Tag or Jack for fits we go. Right face to face, ask myself, what kind of folks it takes to be here?
Every page of acts are much more fun than Jagger Jack could be.